the worst thing about each Assassin's Creed game. Assassin's Creed. This game should be respected by all AC fans, it started the franchise off. Most people within the AC community would argue that despite the game having plenty of positive features including the very satisfying yet simple combat system, the worst thing about the first Assassin's Creed game is the missions can feel repetitive due to the missions being very similar to one another. Assassin's Creed 2 This game is an all time favourite to many of the best AC YouTubers. Even though like 95% of people would agree this game is almost flawless, there is a loud minority that claims that the young Ezio we see in AC2 is unlikable and lacks character development throughout the story. I thought this take was very unpopular, but the community of Reddit would mostly still agree that the Prime Ezio in Brotherhood was much better and much more lovable. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood This game is actually my favourite game of all time. The game is an amazing combat system, storyline and soundtrack. Despite this game being released in 2010, Rome looks visually stunning. On top of all that, the game had a freaking multiplayer that was better than any other multiplayer game that I've ever played. Even if they decide to remove the entire story mode from Brotherhood, the multiplayer alone would still carry the game to that number one spot. The worst thing about Brotherhood would probably be some of the prolonged Desmond missions. Now this is just my opinion, but I believe that some of the story's pacing was hurt when the game threw you back to modern day times to complete a pretty underwhelming mission. In defense of the Desmond missions, some of them were very good. Assassin's Creed Revelations This game fantastically wrapped up the Ezio trilogy and the Constantinople setting has been praised by pretty much every AC player. However, the Den defense and tower defense systems felt a bit forced and out of place by many. Assassin's Creed 3 This game is the most underrated game in the franchise in my opinion. The storyline was incredibly written. Connor Kenway is a very raw character that feels very real unlike many other video game characters in general and the combat is extremely satisfying. However, I would say the worst thing about AC3 would be the underwhelming and sometimes painful naval missions. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Speaking of naval missions, Black Flag definitely improved the naval missions. In fact, naval combat is one of the main reasons why Black Flag is rated so highly. However, the worst part of the game would probably be the overused hailing missions, which can easily become repetitive. Not only that, but a lot of the time, you end up following an NPC even after they have finished saying what Edward needs to hear. So you could be mindlessly following a silent NPC for a fairly long time, for no reason, for a decent chunk of your Black Flag experience. Assassin's Creed Rogue Rogue is a very interesting game, as it allows you to experience what it would be like playing as a villain of the Creed. The worst thing about Rogue is that some of the parts of the story are simply weaker compared to the many other AC games. The assassins in Rogue are portrayed totally differently, as if they suddenly abandoned all their typical characteristics and traits. Their decisions in the game feel like they were desperately written in to make us sympathise with Shay, but it just made the story feel fake at times. Assassin's Creed Unity I would call this game underrated, but in recent years, Unity finally secured the recognition it always deserved. The parkour and combat systems are simply great. Great. The worst thing about Unity would be the character building. Even though I like Dana alongside side characters like Elise, in my opinion, more could have been done to make them feel as lovable as characters like Ezio. I think that if Arna had a second or third game, however, like Ezio did, he would probably end up on the same level. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Syndicate setting looked great, and the stealth elements were executed really well. However, the worst part of the game is the parkour. Loads of players have complained about how the free running and parkour was poorly done, which led to players struggling to climb and or get around certain obstacles. Assassin's Creed Origins. This game was the beginning or the end of the combat system in my opinion, as Ubisoft decided to introduce RPG combat mechanics. Origins had a beautiful map, but the worst part is probably the side quest system. Most people agree that the countless side quests are very underwhelming and boring. Some defend the side quests by arguing the mini narratives within them are entertaining and build up a background knowledge about the main missions. However, I think that the side quest should not be that dominant in an AC game. Assassin's Creed Odyssey This game kind of surprised me. At first the horrific RPG mechanics made me want to delete the game, but then I started to enjoy it. I think the map is way too big, but levelling up weapons and armour became pretty engaging. Some parts of the map looked great, the story including the side quests were not bad at all. But listen, Ubisoft. How did you manage to mess up the stealth mechanics so badly? It should not take 50 arrows to the face to kill a fucking hyena. When I'm in a bush and a guard comes next to me with his back turned away from me and I stab him, he should immediately die like in previous AC games, but he doesn't. Instead, the same guard remains alive and the whole area is immediately alerted that I'm in that bush. Now, I'm aware that there are exceptions based on the situation, based on your level, and based on your enemy's level, but I think that taking away the ability to instantly kill an enemy ruins the point of the franchise. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Valhalla's settings looks pretty cool. Raiding is an interesting concept. Looting system, clunky, 
and slow combat mechanics definitely not cool i know that some of you love the rpg combat but if you are like me and you prefer the old combat that you see in games like brotherhood or unity what i'm about to show you will bother you as you can see valhalla is a best-selling ac game ever which means the rpg combat system is not going anywhere anytime soon with the upcoming release of ac mirage in 2023 it's likely going to have the same combat style as valhalla odyssey and origins before i end this video i would like to mention that i've not played every single ac game in detail but because i love the ac games i have played and the franchise in general i decided to make the video anyway for the ones that i have not had a chance to play it in depth i included some popular opinions of the ac community in the video to voice an opinion for me on that note i am planning to complete the ac franchise in the near future so i might make an updated video also i decided to only include the main game as the franchise which is of course why i didn't include games like ac chronicles in the video thank you all for sticking till the end of the video see you in the next one